Hello grade twos, welcome to our next writing lesson. So today is Monday and we're gonna do a new one. So I hope you finished up talking about chickens last week. And in your writing, in your package, you will have our next source text, which is certainly a rooster. Okay, so press pause and grab that if you don't have it. And we're gonna read through it and we're gonna stay with our unit four where we are summarizing true facts. So there's a lot on this page, but we're gonna pick the ones that we think are interesting or that we think are important. So I'm gonna go through and read. If you would like to put a check beside the ones that you already know you like, you can or you can wait till we finish and then go back through and pick them. And then we're gonna get started on how we're going to do our keyword outline, okay? The male chicken is a rooster. Roosters cannot lay eggs. Their main job is to watch over the flock. Roosters have a spur on their leg that is hard and sharp. The rooster uses it to attack anyone who threatens his flock or to fight another rooster. Since spurs can hurt the farmer, they are often cut. In addition to protecting the flock, Roosters do a little dance to show the hens where to find food. They say, tuk, 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 while they pick up and drop bits of food. This is called tidbitting. Hens like the rooster that does the best dance. Roosters also love to cry, cock a doodle doo. They will crow any time of day, morning, noon, or night. If a chicken is crowing, it is certainly a rooster. Okay? So our topic is obviously about roosters, but then we want to get specific because there could be a lot of different things about roosters, okay? So there could be a few different things that we could talk about roosters, okay? So let's think here about what it is that is going to be, um, what kind of topic that we are going to go with, okay? So... I'm going to put this away and you're going to get to your page for your keyword outline. Okay, so you're going to get your page here that has certainly a rooster on the top. Okay. And I think for the first part, so we're going to go along here. And the first one is we're going to put a Roman numeral one, which is an I on the first line. And we have to think of our topic. Well, we know it's about roosters, but what is it about? It's about roosters' jobs, what their sort of job is, okay? So our key words would be rooster, comma, job and comma and what is their job it is that they are to watch over the flock of hens right so we're going to put flock here so all these facts are about the rooster's job okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to do our numbers one through five and we're going to pick the most important or what we think is interesting. So I'm going to go through and I want you to put a check beside anything you find interesting or important. The male chicken is a rooster. Roosters cannot lay eggs. Their main job is to watch over the flock. Roosters have a spur on their leg that is hard and sharp. The roosters use it to attack anyone who threatens his flock or to fight another rooster. Since spurs can hurt the farmer, they are often cut. In addition to protecting the flock, roosters do a little dance to show the hens where to find food. They say, tuk, 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 while they pick up and drop bits of food. This is called tidbitting. Hens like the rooster that does the best dance. Roosters also love to cry, cock a doodle doo. They will crow any time of day, morning, noon, or night. If a chicken is crowing, it is certainly a rooster. So I hope as we were, as I was reading, you put a little check mark if um, under the ones that you would like, 
Okay, the first one that I'm going to put is I'm going to put that roosters can't lay eggs. Okay, so I've got to pick my keywords. Now, rooster means a male chicken. Okay, so I think I'm going to do male, and we have our cannot symbol, lay eggs is what I'm going to choose. So male cannot lay eggs. Eggs. Okay, now again, you can pick your own or you can copy mine. Press pause if you want to copy. But we're going to pick our three keywords or we can use symbols like not. Okay? The other one that I really liked is where it said that. Where is it here? That roosters do a little dance to show the hens where to find food. I like that. Do a little dance to show hens where to find food. If I had to make three keywords, what do you think I would pick? Dance, hens, food, perfect. Dance, hens, food. Pick your three keywords. <coughs> remember, we want them to be key. They're very important so that you can remember what your sentences are and you put a comma in between them, okay? Um, ooh, I like that they say tick, 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 while they pick up and drop bits of food. I like that. So what do you think my keywords would be? Took, yes, because that's what they say, pick, and I can do a symbol for up and food. Took, pick, and I can do an arrow up, food. Right. Took, pick up, food. Perfect. Okay. What's another one that I liked? What did I pick here? Ooh that roosters also love to cry. cock a doo 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 Okay, and I liked they could do it any time. So they can do it morning, noon, or night. Because sometimes I think we think we, they only can do it in the morning. So let's do crow, comma, and then we're gonna write cock a doo 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 And remember, you can use your source text to help you to spell it, okay? Cock, a doodle, and then hyphen, do. And my last keyword, because that's all one word, my last one is going to be anytime so that I can tell that they can do it anytime. Okay? If a chicken is crowing, it is certainly a rooster. And that's going to be my last one that I pick so that we know only roosters crow, okay? Only roosters crow, okay? Now the very last thing is our clincher, and this is where we repeat or we reflect, use synonyms of our topic sentence about rooster, job, and flock. So my clincher is going to be again, Rooster, job, flock. Now you might think of some other synonyms. Instead of flock, you could say hens. Maybe for job, you're going to say their role or their duty. Or instead of rooster, you could say the male chicken. Okay? So, but I'm going to write them exactly the same as my topic. And then when I write the sentence, you can choose to use the exact same words, repeat them, or you can reflect them, meaning use synonyms. Okay, so once you've picked your details, you've got your topic and you've got your clincher. If you need some more time because you want to copy any of the ones that I've picked, hit pause. But otherwise, pick your three keywords that will help you to remember to write this, okay? And that's on this page will be completed when you're done. And we will see you again on Wednesday where we're going to brainstorm how to use our dress ups and we will write our rooster paragraph. See you then.